Hello, it's Friday, it's noon. It's a musicale at First Unitarian Society in Madison. Thank you for joining us and looking forward to a varied program today, a little bit of everything. People who know me know that I have a very short attention span, so this kind of program is perfect for me, uh, a little bit of everything. I'm gonna start with pieces from Frédéric Chopin, a Polish composer from, lived from 1810 to 1849. These are two of his preludes. And recently I happened upon a recording that I purchased, uh, a CD by the very famous and very wonderful pianist Lang Lang. And my sister and I were listening to that and we said, oh, well, he takes a lot of liberties with the rhythm and with the turns and with the okay. And I just felt so happy when I heard that. It really gave me freedom to uh, experiment with, with my own phrasing. And by the way, Carol, my sister, uh, I want that CD back, please. Okay, thanks. The next prelude by Chopin is often called the raindrop because there is a repeated note that, that sounds like rain. And just when you think it's getting to be a little much, it switches from A flat to G sharp and, and so then it's, it's all good.
can tell how old I am or how long I've been playing piano by the fact that this Chopin book from Theater Presser Company was priced at one dollar. Oh, okay, I'm old. I'm moving next to two of my favorite pieces by Edvard Grieg, lived from 1843 to 1907, wrote a lot of fabulous piano music, including, of course, his piano concerto. Um, I'm going to play two of the pieces, an album leaf um, and also the nocturne. And it's fun for me to play the nocturne today because when I play it for church, it's just a little too long for any of our prelude or postlude slots, so I always cut out most of the middle. So today, I get to play it all. Thank you.
Before I go on to some more contemporary, uh, written in the last century pieces, um, just a word about the piano I'm playing today. This Mason and Hamlin is from 1922. It was personally selected by Frank Lloyd Wright for this congregation, and he often played it. Um, and it's a great favorite of many in the building. It was rebuilt by Farley's House of Pianos um, more recently and just has such a glorious bass and a very lovely top couple of octaves, which is what I was looking for today in both the Greek pieces and in pieces I'll play a little later in the program. So thank you, Mr. Mason and Hamlin. Moving on to a composer named Jackson Berkey. He is a pianist uh, of great ability and musicality, and for a long time was the keyboard guy in Mannheim Steamroller, a, a little band you may have heard of. But he also has done a lot of composing of a more classical nature for choruses and for piano. And uh, these are two of my favorite pieces for him.
Next is one of my very, very favorite hymn tunes. I love the tune, I love the words, I love the history of it. Shall we gather at the river? And I've arranged it for chimes and harps and piano and who knows what else. But this is one of my personal favorite arrangements by John Carter. Our mother was a very fine pianist and church organist, and when my sister and I started piano, of course she was our very first piano teacher, but you know that doesn't work out after a while when it's your mother. So later I went to study with a woman named Beatrice Miller, and what a joy that was to study with her and to know her. Uh, um, I have cherished our friendship all these years. Um, and she passed away in 2015, but not before composing uh, two pieces that are very special to our family. The first, Remembering, she composed when my father died. And uh, we have always, always very much adored that piece. And in fact, I forgot I wanted to read her a little note. I still have this post-it note that she put on the music. It takes courage to send my music to first-rate musicians such as yourselves and your family, but I've got courage today. And since it's dedicated to your dad, I want each of the Warrens to have a copy. Fondly, B. Miller. And then the second piece I will play by B. Miller called Nostalgic Moments. She wrote when her husband died years later and uh, he was a very fine man that all of us admired and so uh, we are grateful to have these pieces. 
I was going to play them at my mother's memorial service. She died in early March. But of course, we haven't been able to have a memorial service for her. And so today, I'll play these two pieces in my mother's memory.
In case you couldn't tell, B. Miller marked those pieces, molto espressivo, and then just for good measure, she wrote tenderly with much rubato throughout. So you can see, that's my kind of piece. I'll close today's concert with two pieces by Ryan Marvel. I first heard Ryan play at a Unitarian Musicians Network conference in 2006, and I was just so impressed with his compositions and his musicality and his piano performance that I started kind of uh, following him uh, online and not quite stalking, but you know, I just kept track of him and as he published things, I, I bought copies and recently he put out a few CDs that I had somehow missed and uh, also published more of his piano music and I just sent him a check and I said, send it all. I, I, want, I need all of it. So two pieces uh, by Ryan. First, a piece titled Just Hopeful, which, oh boy, that's what we need right now, isn't it? Hopeful. And then my all-time favorite piece of hymns, I hope I can play it as well as he does, his arrangement of Simple Gifts. Thank you. 
Yay, I just love that piece. I love everything about it. So beautiful. And if I get up all my courage, I'll send this link to uh, Ryan himself so he can enjoy his own piece. That's it for today. Next week, it's the return of the harp on May 29th for a musicale. I'm going to be playing again a wide variety of selections, including, of course, two pieces arranged by Kim Robertson and two pieces arranged by Laura Zarr. And then the week after that, Heather Thorpe will be joining me, um, and we're going to do a bunch of arrangements by Mark Hayes, a very talented pianist and composer and arranger, uh, some piano solos and also some vocal solos with the fabulous Heather. So I hope you can join us. Please stay safe, have a good week, and thank you very much. <laughs>